Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have another Dollar Tree DIY Halloween video for you guys. If you're new to my channel and like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Before I get started on today's DIYs, I want to share with you this really cool ghost blow up that an Amazon seller sent to me. It's pretty awesome and it's easy to set up. Um, it comes in just a bag all folded like this with easy setup instructions. You just unfold it and it has a spot in the bottom where you just use your hose to fill it with water. And it is a wobble blow up so you do not need any strings or any stakes to hold this down. The weight of the water is going to keep it sturdy and it's just going to wobble when the wind blows. Then you just use an electric pump. I just use that to blow him up. And for the lights, they come with two submersible battery um, packs that are waterproof. One goes in the top part and then a bigger one goes in the bottom part. Each one comes with a remote so that when Way you can turn it on um, you can turn each one on separately and you can switch the colors and the modes and everything it's really cool I mean you can see here I'm wobbling it back and forth and he doesn't tip over at all and like I said he's not staked in the ground so if you're interested in one of these ghosts the link will be down below in the description box for this first DIY, I wanted to make a lighted Halloween tree. So I'm going to use a black broomstick from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some of these floral branches from Dollar Tree that are very glittery. I have six orange and six of the pink purple and then only five of the black ones. I just picked up what they had at Dollar Tree and uh, the first thing I did was remove the top from the handle and then I'm going to take one of each color and I'm going to start off by placing those inside the broom handle at the top and then I'm going to use some hot glue to secure those down and that's going to be the start of the tree and then to start securing everything I'm going to go ahead and tie some twine and as I'm tying the twine and wrapping it around the broom handle I'm going to be adding in the branches as I go and I just switched it up um, with the colors and just alternated those as I went down the broom handle and I just kept wrapping the twine around um, the broom handle until I covered up all of the bottom of those branches. Okay, so you're probably thinking wrapping that twine around this broom handle is a tedious task and I have to have a lot of patience. And you're right, I did. I had a lot of patience to do this, um, but I used twine because that was all I had. Um, so if you're doing this DIY um, and if I was to go back and do it again, I would use some black duct tape because that would go much quicker for this process. Um, but like I said, I didn't have it on hand. So I thought of this project and I decided to use the twine. So once all of the branches were um, put on to mainly the top of the broom handle and just staggering them on the way down, I finished off wrapping the broom handle with the twine. And uh, then once it was all wrapped, I did decide to go ahead and paint the twine um, with some black paint. And I did that just so that way um, it would kind of blend in and the branches would stand out more than the trunk of the tree. Then once the trunk was all dry, I wanted to put all of this together. So I just took a bucket from Dollar Tree and some styrofoam and I hot glued the styrofoam to the bottom of the bucket. And then I used some uh, dry beans for the weight and I just put about half of the bag in the bottom there you could use rocks or whatever you have on hand I had these beans so it worked then I stuck the bottom of the broom handle 
through the styrofoam and I did add a little bit of hot glue which you can't see here because I took it out and then added some hot glue and stuck it back in and stuck the beans around it. Then I added some Spanish moss to the top there um, and then I went to the top of the tree and I started pulling out all of the branches just like you would do for a Christmas tree. You just fluff the branches and pull them out. Um, so that way it looks whiter uh, and then once that was all done the last thing I did was take some of the battery LED orange lights and wrap those around the trunk and I hid the battery pack in the moss This next DIY is super easy. I'm just gonna use one of these chair covers from Dollar Tree. I picked up one of the jack-o'-lantern ones. You could use the skeleton one if you wanted to, um, but they make perfect outdoor pillows because it's a plastic material, so the water just runs right off of them, um, and they're big and they make a statement. So I just unfolded it, and with the opening there, I just stuffed it with some older pillow stuffing um, and this is typically what I use to stuff all of my pillows I just take old bed pillows um, that I replace and I keep those for when I want to make decorative pillows um, and then to close this up I'm just going to be using some hot glue uh, to secure it down I just ran it along the seam there and just made sure um, that it was held together you could use a tacky glue um, or uh, some other E6000 or something like that you could use, um, but you would definitely have to clamp it together to hold it while it dried. And that was it for this cute little outdoor jack-o'-lantern pillow. For this DIY, I'm going to be using eight of the jack-o'-lantern solar-powered lights from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and pop the heads off of the stakes and set the heads aside to use later on for another DIY. And then I'm going to take the stakes and I'm just going to pop them in together and you just use the stake to place one on top of the other. Now the bottom stake can come out if you would like to use this specific DIY for outdoor decoration and stake it into the ground, but I'm not going to do that for these. I'm going to set the um, sticks aside and I'm going to use two of these uh, plastic orange balls from Dollar Tree. Now you can see here they had the barcode and the warning label and things like that on them um, and it does not come off with acetone or um, alcohol or anything like that. I tried so I decided to use this caulking from Dollar Tree and I just squeezed it out um, on top to cover uh, that lettering or wording and um, I kind of did it in like a pattern so that it looked like something was spilled on top of it kind of like it was has like a caramel coating on top or something like that because I'm making lollipops that's what I'm doing with these balls and the sticks <laughs> so anyways I let these dry for a couple hours um, and then I came back and I painted the caulking with some black paint I just used a big brush and then I used a smaller brush to go around the edges I chose black um, because I kind of was going with the orange and black theme, but you could make these look like caramel apples. You could use red balls or you could um, really do anything. You could put glitter on top of them. Um, the, it's, you know, open for interpretation. <laughs> so I just painted these black and then I set them aside on top of some uh, glass bottles to dry. And then to glue the balls onto the sticks, I used some Gorilla Glue glue super glue and I held that there for a minute and then I used some hot glue to go around the edge of the ball and the stick um, to keep it secure while it dried once everything was dry I'm going to use this plastic wrap um, 
I've had this for a while. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Dollar Tree, um, but I'm not sure if I got this at Dollar Tree or not. But I just laid the uh, lollipop on top of that and wrapped the plastic around the uh, stick. And then I used some of this spider web tool that I got from Dollar Tree and I tied a bow. I did the same thing with the other lollipop and I think these turned out really cute. Like I said, you could take the stakes out of the bottom of the sticks and you could stake these in the ground for some outside decor or they could just be used for inside decor they are just a cute piece to add to your Halloween decor Right, for the next DIY I'm using those solar powered jack-o-lantern heads from the last DIY but I'm not going to use the necks on them so I want to take those off and for that I'm going to be uh, burning them off with my wood burning tool um, it just melts the plastic and then I'm able to kind of just pull it off you want to be really careful with this DIY because the wood burning tool gets really hot and so does the plastic so you probably want to wear some heat sensitive gloves for this um, but I couldn't find anything to cut this thick plastic so this wood burning tool worked pretty good now I'm going to be using some fishing line to tie around the stem I'm just going to insert it in between the pumpkin and the bottom of that stem there there's just a little space where that fishing line can go and then I'm just going to tie the fishing line um, in a double knot so that way it stays and then I'm going to cut my fishing line really long I'm going to be hanging these with the fishing line in my tree out front and they're going to look like floating jack-o-lanterns. I think this project is so easy and it turned out super cute. For this last DIY, I'm going to be making a door banner and I'm going to be using this black felt from Dollar Tree. It's pretty long, so it's perfect to make a long banner out of. So I un just unfolded it and then I'm going to go ahead and place a wooden dowel, which was from Dollar Tree, at the top side of this and I'm just going to fold the fabric over uh, just a little bit to enclose that wooden dowel and keep it in place and I'm just going to use my hot glue um, to secure it down and then to um, hang the banner I'm going to use just a piece of twine that I just tied on each end of the wooden dowels that stick out from the felt and then for my banner, um, for my lettering, I actually used my Cricut and I just printed out the word boo and I'm just uh, using heat transfer vinyl and I'm just pressing that on to my felt. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, um, you could use um, the brand Avery. If you have a printer, they have some... Um, printable heat transfer paper that you can print on and then you can transfer it to your fabric if you wanted to do something like this. I've used it before um, and it works pretty well, but I'm going to use utilize my Cricut um, for this DIY. I also printed out a little spider to hang down from the top and then I also I cut the bottom of the fabric just a little bit to make it even um, and then I also uh, did a little spider web at the bottom and that was really it for this and I just hung it on my front door. Thank you all so much for watching today and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all of you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.